I've been using Camo for a while, and the best thing is that it allows me to use my iPhone as a webcam wirelessly. But now, with version 2.0, Camo went to the next level. Now you can use it with any webcam and make your video conferences even more professional. With Camo 2.0, you can choose your camera resolution, add filters, pan and zoom with face tracking, add blur, even better than in Zoom, you'll see, and then have full control over all your camera settings. This video is sponsored by Reincubate Camo. Thanks Camo for supporting my channel and help me keep producing good content for you. Camo is a product that I personally use and I'm promoting because I think it will bring value to your world. So first thing, go to Reincubate Camo website. You'll find the link in the description below. And then download it and install it on your machine. This is Camo interface. Let's start by selecting the camera. Here you'll see the list of all the cameras linked to your computer. And I'll choose my BenQ IdeaCam S1 webcam. Depending on the webcam you're using, some of the features in Camo may or may not be available. So if you're in doubt, just check Camo website or contact their support team. One of the best uses I've been doing of Camo so far is the use of my iPhone as a webcam wirelessly. The fact that you're not bound to a wire makes it very flexible. You can use it as a primary webcam, for example, when you're traveling and you can't rely on your good quality home webcam, or as a second webcam, for example, for an overhead shot if you're doing a product tutorial, or if you need to show something around your room, or even outside, as long as you are on the same wireless connection. So look for the Camo app on your app store. Download it and launch it. You can either scan the QR code to connect it, or just click on Connect the device. And if Camo is launched on your phone, then the phone will immediately be recognized. And there it is. When the phone is connected, you can even choose the lens, like wide or ultra wide, or the selfie camera. Okay, back to my BenQ camera. The first option we see is the focus. You can either have it automatic, or set it on manual. You can then choose the resolution. I'm now working with 1080p, that is full HD. And then also choose the FPS value, that's frame per second. That is how many frames are shot per second. The higher the value, the smoother the video. And I leave this to 30. Then there are some filter presets. They're fun to play with, but in my mind, not super useful if you're doing professional video calls. However, what's useful is that you can create your custom preset. So let's say you want to add some saturation or some brightness to your camera, then you can define a new preset and save it for future use. Now the next feature is really useful to make you appear professional on video calls. Camo allows you to use an overlay to enrich your visual communication. That's very helpful. For example, if you want to add a lower third with your name, your logo, or your website address, your social profiles, there are a number of predefined overlays that you can customize to your taste, like this Twitter one, semi-transparent one, a YouTube one, even TikTok. And if you open the gallery, you'll have an instant overview on how all the overlays look like. I like this YouTube one. So let me personalize it with my information. I'll duplicate it and modify it. And now I enter the Camo editor. I can modify the text, font size, and then it's saved as my personal YouTube lower third, which I can then add to my favorites for quick access. But I can also create a new overlay from scratch. Click on create new, and I'll name it Enrico Brand. I'll add an image element with my logo, resize it, position it to the left, then add my name, change the font to my font, make it black, and then add a rectangle. I'll make it yellow. Now I can change the position of the elements so that the text is on top of the rectangle. Some more tweaks, and that's it. If you want, you can make each element transparent, but I'm happy with full opacity. So it's now saved and added to favorites. Now I have my YouTube lower third, as well as my branded lower third. If you want to remove the overlay, just click on the remove icon. Now the next great feature especially useful if you're moving around your room while teleconferencing. You have a couple of framing options. The first one is the standard zoom. You can zoom to the percentage of your choice and then drag the rectangle with your mouse to pan while zoomed. That's useful if you want to cut out some parts of your room that you don't want to show. That's pretty standard. The next one is zoom with automatic tracking of your face. The application follows you by keeping the zoom level constant. And the third option is auto with zoom. It automatically pan and zoom 
to keep you in frame. So basically you decide the size of the face that you want to show with this nice fruit icons and then the application will keep you in the frame with the same level of zoom of your face that will adapt if you're walking forward or backwards. When could this be useful? Well, first of all, if you're moving around while video conferencing, so you don't go out of frame, but you're always centered. You don't need to walk around, but maybe you're moving on your chair. A second application is when you're working with a flip chart. So you want to start the meeting just showing your face to focus the attention on you, but then you want to move to the flip chart. This is what Camo allows you to do, and I think it's super useful. The next feature is the mirroring, that's pretty standard, and then a stabilization feature reduce movement and blurring from cameras that are prone to vibration. It doesn't work with my BenQ camera, but actually it does when I connect my iPhone. And the last feature at the bottom left is rotation. That's also self-explanatory. Now that the camera is connected, you may wonder, how am I using Camo together with Zoom or Teams? If you follow my videos and you're familiar with OBS Studio, well, that's basically the same concept of the virtual camera. Camo is taking the video from your camera and then outputting into a new virtual camera. So let's open a Zoom meeting. And now after you've installed Camo, you'll see the Camo virtual camera in the list of the available cameras. Just select it. And now everything that is displayed on your Camo video will be displayed also in Zoom. And let's now go to the next great feature. That's the blur background. Well, you may say that blur background already exists in Zoom or Teams. And yes, you're right, but Camo is taking it to the next level. Let's see how. You have two options for blurring the background. The first one is portrait. It's a subtle blur that adds a depth of field effect to the scene. That's similar to your iPhone portrait mode or to the blurring of your professional DSLR camera. You can use this blur effect if you're okay with your background, but you want to look more professional. If you instead need to completely blur out the background because you have a messy room, then you can use the privacy blur. And that's the same effect that you get in Zoom or Teams. A third option you have is the green screen or the virtual background. By default, you have a green screen, but you can replace it with whatever image you want, similar to Zoom or Teams virtual background. The next option is also very interesting to make it look good, and that's the spotlight. By using it, you can increase your contrast versus the background, so you will stand out more. We then find a series of filters. Again, very strong filters are not super useful if you're using this application for professional video conferences. However, if you have a predefined filter that you know you look good with, then you can import it. Filters can be saved under the LUT format, that is lookup table. That's a bit advanced for common use, but just that you know that you have full flexibility. And last but not least, Camo gives you full access to all your camera settings. You can play with the exposure. The ISO actually doesn't work with my BenQ camera. Backlight compensation, white balance, brightness, hue, saturation, vibrance, contrast, gamma sharpness. Just find your perfect tuning, then save it and use it over and over. That's one more advanced feature, that's the power line frequency. I believe you can use it to avoid the flickering depending on the frequency of your video. But for me, with my settings, it doesn't make a difference. So I'll leave it on off. There's a free version of Camo that you can try out with limited features. So go try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. So you're set with your camera. If you now want to know everything about the latest Zoom features, check out this next video here.